There are many reasons to love the Mandarin in Marrakesh. There's the imposing entrance with its huge courtyards, cool colonnades, and golden tiled water feature in the marble lobby. There's the French chic swimming pool with its shady restaurant and on-point summery food. There are the villas, spacious, peaceful walled havens with their own proper-sized plunge pools, calm decor, and vast bathrooms with bathtubs big enough to swim laps in. And the spa, enormous, beautiful, with the best hammam in town. And flowers, flowers everywhere. Neon pink bougainville tumbling with abandon down every wall. Blousy bushes of jasmine scenting the evening air and a different type of fragrant rose running riot in front of each villa. This 10-acre resort is located a 20-minute drive southeast of the Jama Lafna. A complimentary shuttle ferries guests to the Medina when required. Various golf courses are within easy reach, and the Museum of African Contemporary Art is next door. This is the perfect urban oasis, designed by brilliant interior architects Patrick Gillis and Dorothy Boucher. It is rustic yet sophisticated, luxurious but relaxed, and stylish in an unostentatious manner. Instead of the symmetry of palms, they've opted for ancient, shaggy, silvering olive tree that anchor the resort solidly in a landscape characterized by rolling green hillocks reminiscent of desert dunes. Inside, the cultural dialogue continues in light-filled lounges, where natural materials speak to Morocco's impressive craft history, and graphic designs mimic the strikingly contemporary art of the Berbers. The main hub curves around vast reflecting pools set with weeping willows, while private villas bed down amid gorgeously cultivated gardens filled with roses, jasmine, rose geranium, and night-blooming sestrum. There are 54 villas, seven first-floor suites, and two infinity pool spa suites. Although smaller than the villas, the suites have the benefit of stunning atlas views and heated terrace plunge pools. The villas, meanwhile, are designed as mini riads and are enclosed by high walls. They offer acres of space, including outside a plunge pool and a swimming pool, sofa seating around an outdoor fireplace, a small kitchen, and a dining table making the outdoor area as utile as the interiors. They are all furnished in Mandarin Oriental's signature palette of cream and mahogany and carry Berber motifs in the form of handwoven rugs, textured tadalak, and latticework screens. Bathrooms in the villas are palatial with enormous circular baths, shy lounge, self-contained steam room showers, and dressing rooms all in gray-veined ivory marble and mahogany. Sweet bathrooms are similarly sexy, but are just less spacious and come with conventional baths. Like the resort, food is modern and inventive, but also draws on tradition. Breakfast is in the Salon Berber, overlooking large mirror-like pools that soak the skirts of pretty weeping willows. A cavalcade of fluffy pastries, homemade bread, fruit, and yogurt appear, followed by your choice of eggs, avocado on toast, or kalia tagine. The poolside restaurant serves light, organic, vegetarian dishes, much of it harvested from the kitchen garden. The locavore theme continues in Chef Salim Eight Azine's elegant evening menu, which features lamb from garb, spider crabs from Qualidia, and a delightful raspberry and rose confit made with the famous roses from Kalad Maguna. For a change of pace, book a table at the Lingling and join a hip Marakshi crowd nibbling on La Sukin's delicious dumplings and Chinese small plates accompanied by Fleur de Vie cocktail. Some 300 staff members support an exceptional array of facilities, including three restaurants, indoor and outdoor pools, cooking classes, and a range of customized tours and activities. They are smart and helpful, but not obtrusive. The enormous, self-contained spa deserves its own review, with its cathedral-like brickwork interiors, separate male and female marble hammams, six spa suites, huge jade-colored pool, yoga studio and fitness center, personal training, bike rides, jogging excursions, customized cultural tours, and nutritional programs are all possible. 
At Details in Luxury, we curate the finest and most luxurious hotel rooms, suites, restaurants, and things to do from around the world. We hope you enjoyed our video. Feel free to check out other hotels and resort videos in the channel. We would appreciate it if you could leave us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.